Okay, here we're going to be doing standard 1.2, which is on matrix representations. And we're going to be doing problem 1.13 of McIntyre. It says to consider a quantum system with an observable A that has three possible measurement results, A1, A2, and A3. And we know from the statement here of this question that A1, A2, and A3 are the three eigenvalues for this operator A that represents this observable. We know this from postural three of quantum mechanics. That states that all the measurements correspond to the eigenvalues of the operator. So here we're going to be starting out by just writing the three kets that represent these eigenvalues. So these eigenvectors here corresponding to these possible results. And we're going to do this using matrix notation. And since we're working in the A basis, we can just simply represent A1 as 1, 0, 0, A2 as 0, 1, 0, and A3 as 0, 0, 1. And this is really nice and it's going to make our calculations for things such as probability really simple because we have the components other than the ith entry corresponding to the ith eigenvalue, the ith state vector, to be um, 1, and the rest are going to be zeros. So the system is prepared in the state psi equal to a1 minus 2a2 plus 5a3. And now we want to represent this state using matrix notation, calculate the probabilities, and plot a histogram to represent these predicted measurement results. And we're going to start this by just writing in a matrix notation. And to do this, we just have psi can be represented as 1, 0, 0, minus 2 times 0, 1, 0, plus 5 times 0, 0, 1. And this gives us our represented state vector as 1, negative 2, 5. To do this, we simply just scale each vector by the corresponding coefficient, and then we just add across. Now to normalize, we're going to be doing the process we've done all semester by just taking the inner product of the state vector with itself, set it equal to 1, and then solve for the corresponding normalization constant. In this case, we're going to call it capital B. To do this, we just have the modulus of B squared, and then we have 1, negative 2, 5 as a row vector, times the column vector 1, negative 2, 5. And then we can solve through, and we get that 1 is equal to 30 times the modulus of B squared. Since the overall phase does not matter, this implies that we can let B equal 1 over root 30, and then we can represent our normalized state as psi equal to 1 over root 30 times the column vector 1, negative 2, 5. And now we can continue by finding the probabilities for this operator in observable A. So the probability of getting a measurement of A1 is just the modulus squared of the bra A1 inner product with the ket psi. And this is something we've been doing all semester. We're going to be doing this with each of the corresponding state vectors. And here we just have 1 over root 30 times the row vector 1, 0, 0 times the column vector 1, negative 2, 5, all modulus squared. And here, since the rest of these components are 0, like I mentioned earlier, we're just going to be looking at the first component of this column vector, and then with a corresponding scaling constant of 1 over root 30. This gives us a probability of 1 over 30 for measuring A1. And then similarly, for the probability of getting A2 as a measurement, we just look at the second component, and then we take the modulus squared of what's left, we get 4 over 30, and then similarly we get 25 over 30 for the probability. And this shows that we got probability 1 as our total probability, which is good, which means that we have a good chance of have not made any mathematical mistakes in our calculations. And now we're going to represent the histogram of the predicted measurement results. And here we're going to be representing the probability with the y-axis, and we're going to be looking at the eigenvalues corresponding to operator A on the x-axis. The probability of measuring A1 is 1 over 30. The probability of measuring A2 is 4 over 30. The probability of measuring A3 is 25 over 30. This corresponds to the three results we got above. And now we're going to be doing an identical process with a different state vector. So it says that in a different experiment, the system is prepared in the state psi equal to 2a1 plus 3i a2. And the first thing that's important to note is that we have no a3 component. So we're going to be, once again, writing this in matrix notation, looking at the probabilities, and plotting a corresponding histogram. So once again, we're going to solve using an identical approach. So first we're going to represent this vector in matrix notation. So we have psi can be represented as... 2 times 1, 0, 0, plus 3i times 0, 1, 0. No, bit, no component in the A3 direction, so we're just left with the total representation for this vector as 2, 3i, and 0. 
So once again, we have to normalize because the state is not normalized. So we find our normalization constant, in this case, capital C. And we, here we have the row vector 2, negative 3i0, and that's because we had to take the adjoint of this vector, and we multiply by the corresponding column vector. And we're left with 1 is equal to 13 times the modulus of c squared. And since the overall phase has no physical meaning again, we can choose c equal to 1 over root 13. And now we have our normalized state as psi equal to 1 over root 13 times 2, 3i, 0. So now, once again, we're going to find the probabilities using an identical approach. And we set these, we have this set up here, and we do our calculations, and we're looking at the first component again. We get 4 over 13. We look at the second component, we get 9 over 13. Then the third component, since we have another 0, we're left with a 0 probability. But this makes sense. We expected a probability of 0 for measuring a3 in this system. That's because if we look back at the state vector psi here, we have no component in the a3 direction. This is some general abstract quantum state. However, if we represent these basis vectors as like the directions in an axis, this, ve this state vector has no component in that direction, which means we have no, po no possibility of measuring a3, which means the probability is 0. So now we can represent this histogram Again, to look at the um, predicted measurement results we just calculated. And we have the probability on the y-axis and the eigenvalues again on the x-axis. We have 4 over 13 for the measurement a1, 9 over 13 for the measurement a2, and a probability of 0 for the measurement a3. So that's going to be it. Thank you.